Welcome to the uh, channel, folks. Thanks for joining us. I'm just adjusting my mic here. I hope um, I'm coming across okay. If um, there's anybody watching, <laughs> uh, where's the comments? Um, do I sound okay? Um, I'm a little bit early. I know I was scheduled um, to come on live here at 7.30 New Zealand time, but... Um, I've got a couple of things I have to shoot out and do, so um, I'm early for a change, uh, which is always good. Um, oh, oh, uh, gosh, I had a, um, so while we're here, folks, um, I'm going to just uh, do a quick live stream if anybody wanted to jump on and pass on, obviously, the condolences and thoughts. Um, and words about the passing of uh, the late, great Dicky Beats. Um, I'll put a quick video up on the channel and on some social media um, accounts linked to the channel explaining how I found out about it and I'm sure like a lot of us it would have been through um, our social media posts but uh, yeah I got up this morning did a couple of things and as you do you pull your phone out and have a look and see what's happened around the world <laughs> because the world's a pretty strange place at the moment um, and there were um, Posts expressing um, sadness about Dicky Betts passing. And look, you, when you see a couple of these posts, let's be fair, you're a little bit dubious because I don't know how many posts we see and people say oh, it's a hoax, it's a hoax. And then you realise and you read some of these accounts and you find it, actually, this is not a hoax, it's... um. This is real. Oh, hey, Simon. Hey, Rob Professor. How are you? Good to see you, mate. Um, and then you realise, actually, uh, it's true. Dickie Betts has passed away. So like a lot of us, you know, I've spent the day working, talking about uh, work, doing work things. But obviously, um, uh, talking to friends on social media and, uh, friends through business about Dicky Betts and his contribution and his legacy. And, um, you know, I can say that I'm personally um, saddened that he's passed away. Huge influence in my life as a guitar player and as a musician. And the rock professor will attest to it too because we've been fortunate to do a few shows on the channel talking about the influence of Dwayne Orman in particular, but also uh, the Orman brothers. Um, if you're following us on social media, you'll know that I've posted a link to a two-show series, The Backdoor Man, Brad and I, and The Rock Professor did. Hey, 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 Brad. Uh, do you guys want to jump on? <laughs> for half an hour do you want to jump on i'll send you the link if you're up let me know in the chat um so we've been fortunate and honored i suppose in uh one way to spend some time together the three of us to uh, the rock professor can okay give me two seconds to talk about um uh live at the fillmore you know Huge, huge album. 10 out of 10 album. 
never a skip. No, there's no song on that album that is um, skippable, in my opinion. Um, uh, just give me two seconds, folks. Uh, invite guests, copy, and I'll go over here. I'll throw it in there. I'll throw it in that one. And I'll throw that into Brad's. Um, yeah, one of the great things, I suppose, about the Allman Brothers, and, and we've mentioned this, and we'll probably continue mentioning it, uh, the, the great thing about the Allman Brothers band is that they took the British electric blues scene, that, that, that sound, and reinvigorated it and gave it that an American twist and um, presented it back to the Americans, gave it some authenticity. I don't like the term Southern Rock, um, but I think for some of our more normie friends who don't understand perhaps the definitions when we say rock music or or blues music or whatever, um, it's probably an easy term to, to use to define uh, where the Allman Brothers were. Hey Ryan, good to see you brother. Good to see you. Thank you for supporting us bro and thank you for um, commenting. Hey Tim, good to see you and Boomster Black, good to see you. The Rock Professor is going to jump on. So we just wanted to get together and just quickly share with you guys, with, with our family here, with our friends. Um, the sad news about Dickie Betts passing, obviously, at 80, a victim of cancer. Hey, John. Um, yeah, and, you know, the legacy that he, he uh, left. I'm, I'm going to invite you guys in the chat over the next couple of days to go and watch Almost Famous again. Go and watch Almost Famous because, uh, oh, oh gosh, how many times have I seen it and I can't even remember. Who, who's, the name, uh, who's the name of the guitar player that the guy is chasing around trying to talk to? The guitar player in the band Stillwater. Oh, come on, you guys. <laughs> um... Cameron Crowe obviously wrote wrote it, I think, the whole film and directed it. And that guy that's playing the guitar, um, he's modelled everything, his look, everything off Dickie Betts. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go and watch it, if not this evening, some stage tomorrow. go and check it out but uh you guys you know c clearly um you're all uh Orwin brothers fans dicky Betts fans um the sad thing the sad thing about dicky passing is that when he got cut from the band what, 24 years ago, he never played with them again. Never played with um, the Allman Brothers, Greg Allman. And we know that Greg was, well, the Allman Brother band right through the 2000s were gigging regularly. I mean, Derek Trucks joined the band. He never got a chance to play with any of those guys again. Um, that's sad. That's sad that that didn't happen. You kind of hoped maybe that something would. Um, and we look, I suppose, now uh, forward into the future because... Um, 
maybe somebody might do a biography on Vicky. Um, that seems to be the situation, doesn't it? We saw that with uh, Gary Moore. Uh, two biographies came out recently. Um, there's some darn good books out there already discussing the Allman Brothers. And um, as I said to you guys earlier on a, another video, there's this biography here that came out uh, by another cool author, a guy called Randy Poe, on Dwayne Allman. And there's a good conversation in here um, about Dickie Beats. John saying he's never listened to a lot of Allman Brothers. Uh, I should. Yeah, I, I, I think you should. I, obviously, you need, need to go and check out the live at Fulmore for, for a starter. That's definitely um, the best place to begin. Um, and again, folks, if you didn't know this, um, Rambling Man, one of their famous songs, probably the famous song, it's the song that they played on the radio with Jessica, the instrumental, written by um, Dickie Betts. So, um, yeah, not, not only a, a guitar player, um, a composer as well, a writer. Uh, John's saying that he did listen to Fillmore the week that we ranked it. That's good. I'm glad you did, bro. Um, I, sh I should have had Dickie on my top 100. Uh, well, look, I agree with you, uh, Boomster Black. He's definitely... He's definitely on in my top 20, definitely. Oh, here's the Rock Professor. He's going to jump in. We're going to share some thoughts together with you guys for a couple of minutes. He's, here he is. Boom. Hey, hey how's it going? <laughs> Good morning. How are you doing? Good to see you. We've got uh, Nick um, in the chat as well, another Englishman. Good to see you, Nick. Thanks for uh, jumping on. Send me an morning, email, Nick. bro. Um, yeah, Nick. Nick wants to do a ranking of the tracks with us, so hopefully oh, at some stage yeah. we can sort that yeah. out. But um, yeah, Simon, overnight the tragic passing of uh, Dicky Betts. I did yeah, I saw it. Uh, I did see it last night, and uh, a couple of couple of people have uh, done some uh, watched a couple of videos as well. Pete Pardo from Sea of Tranquility did a little and Otis. I forget his name now. Otis somebody did a thing as well told some nice stories about uh, dicky betts him uh, him playing at a, at a blues jam in a club in florida <laughs> and then there was this kind of flurry at the back <laughs> and dicky betts arrives comes up gets on the stage he said i just uh i just stood at the back and kind of you know blended in with the wall and let him get on with it which is lovely kind of just uh he'd been playing down the street at a gig and uh wanted to play some more so uh yeah lovely yeah went off to uh play so, so sat great sad loss i think underrated wouldn't you say underrated guitar player well Not he's got, kind of... going to go down in history because he's the second guitarist on one of the greatest to, uh... live albums ever recorded indeed but yeah but wrote some of the you know in memory of elizabeth reed didn't he and uh, yeah so and rambling so... man which is a great song you know and and took took that band when Dwayne, un, you know, unfortunately passed away, um, mm. took that band um, musically and, 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 and by the horns too and sort of pulled Greg along to, to you know, to, to, to make it um, one of the great live bands in the mid-70s. That's true, he did, he did, he did. He kind of kept the flame of the Ormond Brothers alive, didn't he? After uh, after Dwayne's death, kept it going. You know, kept kept that band on the road, as you say, dragged Greg Norman along. And I think you know, kept it going when Greg was going in his uh, party phase. <laughs> you know, going yeah. out with Cher yeah. and things and doing that. You yeah. know, it was Dicky yeah. who kept and has 
continued, I think, you know, till, till his ill health, continued to continue to keep the flame of the Orn brothers going. Well, before you jumped on, it was a tragedy, though, that after he got kicked out of the band, they never got an opportunity to build that bridge and make amends and have Dickie come back and play with them, you know, because they were prolific tourers, you know, when Trucks, Derek Trucks was in the band. It's sad. It's, that's that that's disappointing. They m never managed to get that sorted, Simon. No, they didn't. But, uh, and he had to do a solo thing. But uh, it's just, you know, it's part of being in a band, isn't it, unfortunately? But, uh, you know, he's... Uh, he was number, and I and as I say, I I think the main thing about it is he, he's a fantastic kind of melodic, very melodic guitar player. He you know, had a style, complete contrast to to Dwayne Allman particularly, and uh, you know he, you know, he wrote all that. I mean, if you wrote Jessica like that, you know, da 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 da, oh, it's a fantastic, you know, melodic little tune, isn't it? To the, you know, it's a. That's that's the best thing about it, really, is it? How how melodic it is, and, and what a melodic player he was, you know. It, yeah, uh, he was cool. He was cool yeah. too. He, you know, he yeah. looked cool. You know, he didn't sort of follow the trends and 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 fashion and in guitars. Simon, he still continued playing. You know, the the classic guitars, the Les Pauls, mainly mainly known for playing Les Pauls, wasn't he? Um, yeah, didn't see a oh, lot God, of him yeah. playing with Strats. Did he play straps? I don't know. I, I only think of him playing a Les Paul, being a Les Paul man. I, I don't think I ever saw him play with the straps. Um, so, so yeah, just just yeah, really, really sad because when I think about, you know, Dickie Betts, you know, I, I'll, be, I'll be honest, I've heard a lot of his solo albums over the years, Simon, and but, you know, for me, you know, the stuff that he did with the Orman Brothers will be the pinnacle, will be the for me, the bench, the benchmark for Dicky Betts and yeah, his legacy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, completely. Yes, it's a, it's um, you know, it's a, that is his legacy, and I think that, you know, live at the film was one of the great live albums of all time, isn't it? I mean, it, you know, it, uh, and you know that is the that is the the testament to his talent and his brilliance as a guitar player. You know, he could uh, he could keep up with Sky Dog, couldn't he? Oh yeah, you know, you know, and uh, uh, not only that, but you know, he did a different thing, and he complimented him, and you know, the two players made to the, you know, that great twin guitar attack. You know, that they were, I guess they were, they were, you know, they weren't the first band to do it, but they were, they were, you know, they were early on doing it, weren't they? You know, Sixty-nine, seventy, seventy-one. That's kind of you know, and I guess what we've got, Wishbone Ash, probably we've got. Uh, the Grateful Dead, of course, were already doing it. Phil Lesh and uh, Gary Garcia, but uh, Mike Bielefield and El Elvin Bishop and the Blue Pool. So there's a few people, but doing that twin lead guitar attack, I think they kind of took it to a new space, didn't they? They took it to a, yeah, took it on. Yeah, um, I'm just uh, replying to a question I asked earlier before you jumped on uh, the name oh, of the yes. guitar player. <laughs> Um, who oh, acts yes. in uh, almost famous uh, Russell? The character Russell is modelled on Dicky Betts. So I urge you to go and watch that film. It's a great film. Um, yes, yeah, Simon, it's it's a tragedy. Thank you for jumping on. Like like I say, it's <laughs> just our channel contribution to these great guitar players and musicians. And um, we've said it a few times when we've had to do this together as a collective here on the channel. These guys and girls aren't getting any younger, Simon. You know, Dickie was 80 years old. And, uh, you know, one of my friends said to me today when we were talking about this, here he is. He, we got the backdoor man here and here he is too. Oh my gosh. We've, Three. we've got, we've got, We've got tres hombres. <laughs> tres, tres hombres. <laughs> How are good you, bro? Good morning. I'm good. I'm good, guys. How are you? Yeah. Good. Good. We, we, we've we've said our our spiel quickly about Dicky, so I can see that you're uh, you're you're in the limousine. <laughs> I am, guys. I am. Um, never arrest for the wicked, they say. Um, you know, just. Uh, 
uh, doing my duties as a as a good dad, working hard, you know, trying to bring in some extra cash. So um, you got to do what you got to do these days to survive, they say. But um, very sad <laughs> news today. Very sad news, unfortunately. Um, you know, um, massive influence the Allman Brothers band. Um, growing up, I used to listen to the Allman Brothers like all the time. And, um, you know, doing my surf trips, I'd be driving along with my arm out the window like that, doing, you know, the, the thing on the steering wheel, just listening to the Allman Brothers. And, um, yeah, it's very sad, but, you know, um, we've got the music and the memories, and um, it's always a, a blessing to have that stuff, to be able to go put that album on and, you know, put the music on and, and listen to it. And I guess... One of the blessings of, you know, Spotify and Apple Music and all the streaming platforms is we've got all of his music available yep. to us um, at the drop of a hat. So I encourage mm. everyone to, you know, celebrate Dickie's life and music and um, put on some of his tunes this weekend and, you know, go tonight and, you know, I'll probably do the same, have a nice little um you know celebration um of his music yeah absolutely yeah. go and listen to rambling man yeah yeah that's it yeah i was born i oh, just yeah it's in my head already <laughs> great so, song yeah. isn't it a great song yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. bob dylan bob dylan said that uh, told dicky Dets he said i should have written that song <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah right. great it's song, um sure I've been listening to you guys while I've been um, driving. I just sort of pull over because by the time <laughs> I get home, you guys might have jumped off the, the stream and I didn't want to miss it. But, um, yeah, you. very sad, very sad news indeed. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, bro. Thank you, uh, Simon and, and the Rock Professor. And, again, I have to do a shout-out to us because, again, what we do here on this part of uh, the YouTube universe is celebrate these great albums and, you know, uh, when 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 there's a tour or there's a new album or when someone passes, we always put a post and say, "Well, this is our contribution, isn't it? This is our contribution to this legacy." And you know, we're all part of it. Yeah. Simon, yeah. for sure, Brad, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, completely, we're, yeah, we're, yeah. We're, we're all part of this 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 big thing. So, yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean that. You know, that's why we do this channel guys you know we, we um <laughs> celebrate the music we had a bit we have a bit of fun ranking tracks and everything and people know when we're ranking the tracks we take it seriously but it's all in good fun and um there's no real bad track by the Allman brothers so or diggy you know um let's be honest they're all good uh, oh, well, oh is that look, as andrew look, said earlier as Andrew said earlier, Fillmore East is a is a ten out of ten album for sure. Yeah, 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 absolutely. You know, hundred percent stellar. And if you're interested, stellar. um, um, you know, I I don't know, maybe I missed it, Andrew and Simon, but if you're interested and you haven't subscribed already, subscribe and and go check out our ranking of the um the Allman Brothers stuff we've done. I'm sure Andrew will share the links in the in the um, in the in the YouTube card moving forward yeah, yeah. so de de yeah. definitely and i'll be picking i'll be picking that album oh gosh simon you, you'll have to help me brad uh, uh is that <laughs> brothers and sisters brothers and yeah. sisters is that is that the album that um ra that the yeah so i'll i'll yeah, be yeah, picking yeah. that on my next pick guys for us to rank mm. because Ooh. um yeah. yeah um you know maybe it's something we should chat about offline but um you know we could always quickly do some rankings of that album this week and in celebration no. it's up to you guys no I've, no no made in <laughs> japan brother <laughs> made in japan made in yeah. japan well, it, man it's locked we are we are celebrating richie blackmore's birthday so yes. you know, we, we try, all, also also do it for is we try and tie it in with um major events and but um yeah made in japan wow but yeah um <laughs> You know, Allman Brothers, Dickie Betts, um, rest in peace. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. And um, yeah, yeah. Look, I'm glad that you guys uh, <laughs> jumped on and um, managed to to, to uh, hang out with us. And obviously, we'll 
be back here in a couple of days' time. Um, Brad is gigging yeah. um, this weekend, so we'll be talking about this album. And that Made in Japan album, guys, we, we've we've been talking about doing that album for years. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why we haven't done it already. <laughs> the Mount Rushmore of a rock albums from the 70s, for sure. <laughs> yeah, iconic yeah. live album from that era. And, um, yeah. you know, I, I definitely, well, I won't say it's the best live album of that era, but it definitely challenges the, the, all the live albums of that era, 100%. Yeah. I think yeah. they learnt some lessons off, off, you know, I, mate, mate, I'm going to say it. They learnt some lessons off um, the Allman Brothers out, you know, you know, there's definitely, you know, that definitely, definitely, you yeah, know, if you're going to do a live album and have, mm. have, have the music play <laughs> on the live album, you got to hear yeah. every single instrument and you do on that album. I oh, looked at the mix of the record before the remaster, in my opinion, was great. Um, but you know, I know they did a, a remaster, um, mm. you know, with three <laughs> CD, one, which I'm not ranking that one. I'm no. not ranking that one. I'm ranking the um, original one, the original yeah, pressing. But yeah, yeah. it's great how you can hear every instrument. You can hear the musicality of the band. You can hear yeah. what's going on. I don't want to give away too much about you know the, the rankings and, and whatnot. <laughs> but it, 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 it's great to. Hear. It's great to hear everything in the um, in the record. That's for sure. The, the, there's some beautiful jamming, you know, um, and improvising. Again, the improvising is it off the cuff. A lot of it, probably some of it's semi-rehearsed, but um, you know, we'll, we'll we'll go into that on on Sunday or Saturday night for you. Or what, what is it, Simon? You're a day behind us, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's only Friday morning here. Uh, yeah okay um, yeah I'm well you'll be, start you'll be work. Um... never mind stop <laughs> bro, bro, bro bro we don't care that these guys tell people that they improvise or that album's improvised and then 50 years later we find out that it's not because that's the same with the Orman brothers remember they, they a lot yeah. of people said you know it was a great improvised album but uh, we all know from when we did that show and that research the Orman brothers band they they hardly improvised you know everything yeah. Everything was done yeah. to, you structure. know, to, 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 to the blueprint. Yeah, framework. Yeah, you, you've got to have a framework to do it, haven't you? You have a framework yeah. in which you, you do, you know, otherwise, otherwise you wouldn't know. But I, but I think it is a lot. I mean, I, I don't know if Made Japan's probably got some quite a lot of improvised sections, but a bit yeah. like Led Zeppelin, isn't it? You know, you, you've got yeah. improvised sections, sections where... I, you know, and then you've got sections where I'm going to play what I'm going to play, like quite a lot of the solos, you know, uh, you know, mm. you know, Richie Blackmore plays the solos, you know, I think <laughs> something to, sometimes to his frustration, but uh, yeah, he played that, uh, you know, he played those solos like that. And then others, he's, you know, clearly in, if you've got a 12 minute song, you're off doing something that you haven't necessarily done before, have you kind of thing, you know? Yeah. 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 Well, they definitely they worked off a chassis for the song. They definitely oh, had a, sure. a chassis format for the song and what was in the middle of it would be loosely improvised, but they would know how to come into that section, how to come out of it, I'm sure of it. But um, anyway, we'll, 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 we won't give Unravel too much for Sunday. I think we'll <laughs> leave it at that. For the, the talk about Made in Japan, we'll leave it at that, I think. But um, yeah. That, yeah, we're looking forward to that, and um, uh, a sad day in music history, but a, a, a great excuse to go explore Dickie Betts's legacy. Good. And go dive Good. into it. Digging in, absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Is that us? Why not? Well, it's up to you, gentlemen. Work. <laughs> um, you know, 30, yeah, yeah, it was only going to be a 30-minute show, bro, and we're bang on. Fun. We're on the money. 29. Well, 29 there you minutes. go guys boom there you um, go look, look guys thank you that joined us live in the chat uh to to hang out with us we always appreciate it and uh if you're yep. watching on a replay please leave a comment um let us know what dicky meant to you and and the allman brothers and we do appreciate the support that you give us we also ask that you go and see our friends on our um uh channels you'll find uh 
You'll find Ryan there. You'll find John there. Gretch Zeppelin there. You'll find Brad there. Go and support mm. our friends by a subscription, please. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. And hi, yeah. hi to everyone in the chat. I didn't acknowledge anyone, but um, oh. it's just a bit chaotic here at my end trying to just get on <laughs> to the stream from my phone. But um, hi everyone in the chat. I can't see the chat at the moment on my phone. But okay. um, thanks, for, thanks for joining yeah. us, everyone. Yeah. Gretch, um, Ryan Hall, John ZD, um, who else were Nick Maller, good to you, Nick, yes. Come and join us, Nick, that would be good fun. Boomster Black, John ZD, 351, Brian, awesome. and Brad mm -hmm. Cook. And, uh, so, uh, yeah, thank you all for uh, for joining and uh, saying hi. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, and Jimmy Ray. Thank you, Jimmy Ray, for your uh, Ray. support to the channel too, mate. Appreciate it um stay tuned too on the channel hit that notification button because we're going to be doing some collaborations with a couple of channels um apparently may Jim the 21st Thomas. is officially in the united states national rock and roll podcast day so we're going well, to um be cultural imperialists and steal that from america <laughs> and have uh, um, uh, a national podcast day here in new zealand one in the UK and one in Australia. <laughs> Commonwealth. Cultural imperialism going the other way. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. We're All out right, here. gentlemen. Peace. Okay. Rest in See peace. Sunday, guys. See you Sunday. Right. Don't, don't, yeah. you, you guys don't go anywhere. I'll just play the, the end video. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Rest in peace, Sticky Bits. Thank you for the music. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. Absolutely. Thank you, Vicky.